Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike and I have a question for you. Are you looking for something great to eat during your favorite football game? I have the answer for you. It's called Halftime Chicken Wings. Halftime Chicken Wings is a recipe written by my good friend, Frank Davis. When we worked on WWL-TV together, everybody loved Halftime Chicken Wings. So I have his recipe right here. We're going to do it verbatim. And let me show you what's in this recipe. So in this recipe, we have bay leaves and garlic and Frank's Sicilian seasoning and poultry seasoning. We have some tomato paste. We have to uh, regular water and we have a mirepoix and of course the chicken some olive oil and we're going to use salt and pepper just remember that the entire recipe will be in the description of the video below the video so let's start cooking i want to make sure you know that in frank's recipe he calls out for these little small cans of tomato paste which would have been two, that's what's in here. And then he says to use six of these cans of water, which turns out to be four cups. So now I'm gonna throw the can away because you already know we have two cans of tomato paste and four cups of water. Okay, the first thing we do is preheat the Dutch oven and then we put the oil in and bring it up a little hotter he said that the oil should be sizzling. And honestly, I think it's, it's about there or it's getting close to it. So at this point, we're gonna put in what Frank calls the mirepoix. Now mirepoix is onions, bell pepper, celery, and parsley. So here we go. In with the mirepoix. Also, we're going in with the garlic. And I think he said, uh, according to his recipe, two to three toes. And we're gonna mix that up in the olive oil. And you can definitely hear that sizzle. Now, I'm gonna make a little hole in the middle because we're going to also add in the tomato paste. And we'll stir that around. Now, according to his recipe, he says to stir it continuously so that it doesn't burn. So I'm just stirring it until it's all incorporated together. And then we're going to cook it for about five minutes. So in about five minutes, we'll come back and show you what it looks like. I think the tomato paste is going to brown a little bit. Ooh, it's been about five minutes and it's looking darker. It's smelling really good too. God, I wish Frank and Mary Claire were here helping me eat this later. All right, so now we're going in with the six cans of water. And I'm just pouring it in slow because I don't want anything to pop, you know? And I definitely want to mix it in well from the get-go. So, you know, no lumps. Okay, so here we go. That's looking good. Okay, so we'll pour in the rest of the water. And we'll put in our three bay leaves. This is going to simmer while we prepare the wings. So let's go on to preparing the chicken wings. So in Frank's recipe, he says that what he wants to do is cut off any extra fat off of the chicken wings. So 
there's a usually a little piece right here and then there's the web that's right in between the two pieces and I'm going to cut the little tip off as well. Let me show you exactly how to trim this up. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to remove the tip. The tip gone. The next thing is is we'll cut we'll pr put a little pressure right in the corner and pull and then that piece of flap comes off. Now I pull it with my finger and then I come and cut that out of the way. Now that is the flap. And then this little piece that he's talking about right here, we'll cut that off. That's another piece. Now, here's another little tip I'm adding to his recipe. There's this little piece right here that the feathers were connected to, and I like to also give that a whack because you got all of that. So we're gonna throw that away and I'm not gonna put this in whole. What I'm gonna do is lay my knife down. I'm gonna show you how to cut them apart. Let me lay my knife down on the drumette. I'm holding the flat in my hand and I start to cut and then I roll the knife around and it just seems to find its way through those two bones. I'm telling you it's magic. It just does it. So I'm putting them in a colander and I'm going to wash them before we season them. So I'm going to finish these other pieces. Doesn't take long. Once you get the hang of it, it doesn't take long to prepare your chicken. Don't let it scare you. It's worth it. See that? I'll finish this up and then we'll clean the chicken and season it up. According to Frank's recipe, we need to add his poultry seasoning and his Sicilian seasoning. And if you can't find these, then just use some anybody else's poultry and Sicilian seasoning. We're just going to go ahead and shake some of this on. This is Sicilian. I'm putting a lot on. He said liberally, but I think he also said a tablespoon. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and now add a little pepper. like that, and some salt. Okay, now what I'm going to do is transfer all of these wings into this bowl because I want to mix them up. I did wash the wings, by the way. I'm sorry, I just, I can't stand dirty meat. So, anyway, we're just gonna flip these babies around a little bit. Get back in there. And now we're gonna go nestle them in to the pot, just as Frank says nestle them into the gravy. The next part of the recipe is to nestle the wings down into the gravy. And I know why he said that. Because if you just tip this bowl over and pour these babies into that red gravy, you're gonna have red gravy all over the place. So once I get all of these wings nestled down, we're gonna put this into a 350 degree oven for about an hour, according to his recipe, or until the wings show signs of falling apart. So that means we'll have to check it maybe at about 45 minutes. So we'll see you guys back in about 45 minutes to an hour. Well, the chicken is out of the oven. It, it took about an extra 15 minutes. Uh, we put it in for 45, checked it, put it in for another 15, so that was an hour, and then we decided to go for another 15, so that was 75 minutes. And it's been out for just a few minutes now, and as you can see, there's a little bit of fat that's coming to the top. So I'm thinking that we need to just skim some of that off before we eat it, and I don't see a problem in doing that. 
it smells great, and I think I want to eat a few of those pieces. So what is your favorite piece, the flat or the drum? It's time to eat some chicken wings. So I had this one picked out already because I love those little drumettes. So I'll eat a couple of them. Let me see how good these are. Ooh, look, they're already falling off. Oh, yeah, that came off. Mmm. Mmm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. Oh, wow. Whoo, baby. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Touchdown, baby. I'm telling you. Six points, and we're going for the extra point right now. This right here is definitely a touchdown. Thank you for watching our video on halftime chicken wings. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you are new to our channel, take a moment right now, go and subscribe. If you are coming back to watch us again, thank you so much. We love you guys. So now, I'm going to say, let's get ready for some football. Hey, go watch your favorite football game. Make you some halftime chicken wings. And as I always say, God bless you.